Hey friends and welcome to beekeeping. My name is Blake and I'm one of the owners of the Bee Supply and I am so excited to get to show you how to install probably your very first nuke. Now this is an awesome way to get started in beekeeping, but it can be super intimidating to bring a box full of bees home in your car and try to get them into the beehive. But it can be very, very simple. I'm gonna walk you through each step and explain exactly how to do it to keep you and your bees safe. So what you need out in the bee yard, obviously you need your nook of bees, you need a smoker, and you need your hive ready to install the bees into. Now, before we actually open up our nook, let's take a look at our hive. So you need a single story deep brood box. So this is our deep brood box. You need a lid and your inner cover. And inside this box, you'll need your feeder um, or some style of feeder and then you'll need eight frames. If you have a division board feeder that fits internal like this one does, then you just need eight frames. If you have some other kind of feeder, then you'll need nine frames in this bottom box. So we've got this internal feeder, which is what I recommend, and we've got eight frames. Now the frames can be drawn out honeycomb if you have a leftover comb from a previous hive, or if you're a brand new beekeeper, just eight frames of undrawn out foundation, so eight brand new frames is perfectly fine. So what we're going to do is we're going to pull the middle five frames out of this hive. I'll take that back. We're gonna pull the middle six frames out to give ourselves some room. So here's our middle frames. We're gonna pull those out. So I've got one, two, three, four, five. I've got six frames out. I've got some foundation. This is a frame of foundation. Uh, some of these are previously drawn out comb. It doesn't matter. Either way is fine. So I've got the middle six frames out, and that's where I'm going to install my nook. Now, here's our nook. Now, one important thing to keep in mind is you might have picked up this nook late in the evening, or you may not have time to install it in this hive when you got it home. That's okay. You don't have to install it into the box as soon as you get it home. Ideally you do, but if you need to wait a day or two, maybe it's rainy, maybe it doesn't fit in your schedule, it's really simple. All you have to do when you get it home is you've got to open up this nook. So what you're gonna do is lift up until you hear a click to open up this entrance. If you need to close it, you just pull it down and latch it down and it seals it in. But as soon as you get them home, put this nook right next to where your hive is going to be and open up that entrance. This will allow the bees to come and go and stay cool until you're ready to install them into your hive. Now when you're ready to install them, you want your smoker. You don't need much smoke, you may just need a little bit. Make sure your smoker is working. Open up the lid and give them a few gentle puffs of smoke. They don't need much. Three or four gentle puffs is all they really need. You'll have a few bees on the lid and you can just gently tap those into the hive and set your lid aside. Now what we're going to be doing is we're going to be picking up one frame at a time and transferring it into our hive. Now the important thing to do is keep it in the same order. So whatever order they were in inside this nook box, that's the same order you want them inside this hive. So we're just going to use our hive tool and gently pry apart the frames. Now your goal is not to do a full inspection right now, it's just to get them transferred into the hive. So we're gonna pull one frame out at a time. This is a frame that's full of, uh, full of honey and pollen. And we're gonna gently insert it right here into this hive. And we're gonna do the same thing for the next frame. This hive has a lot of cat brood on it. You can take a quick look if you want to and identify the brood. This has got lots of cat brood, lots of honey, lots of pollen. Slide it in in the same order and we're gonna do that one frame at a time. You may notice that every frame might be a different color. So these are pretty light, new frames. Sometimes the frames will be dark and old. That's very, very normal. What we've done to create these nooks is we've taken an existing hive and taken out several frames of resources, put them into this nook box, and gave it a new queen and made sure she's a proven laying queen. So you may have a plastic frame occasionally, you may have an older frame, a newer frame, and that's just because we pulled these resources out of an existing hive. 
Now frames get dark very quickly, so it can still be a relatively new frame and be pretty dark. So we've got four of these frames in. I've seen some brood, I've seen some uh, honey. This last frame may or may not be full of resources. Um, usually what we do is we pull a feeder. We have a division board feeder, that internal feeder inside this nook box while we're building it. And then right before we sell it to you, we pull out that feeder and we put in a frame. We try to give them a week or so to fill that frame in with some resources and nectar, but that fifth frame may or may not have a whole lot of resources on it. So now that we've got them all inside, we're gonna take one of our extra frames that we pulled out previously, our sixth frame, and we're gonna slide it in. When you're done, you should have eight frames and a feeder in your bottom box, um, assuming you have that internal feeder. If you don't, then you need nine frames. Now, something that's super important is that you give them a little bit of smoke and you push all these frames tightly together. That's super important. If you don't do that, then in the empty space between the frames, the bees are gonna draw out a bunch of excess comb that's really gonna get in the way. So give them some smoke to run the bees down, take your hive tool, press those frames tightly together up against your feeder. If you don't have a feeder, just center the frames tightly. Now you're gonna have some extra bees left over in your nook box. Now you can look and make sure you don't see the queen bee, but out of caution, carefully knock these bees into the box. Just in case the queen was in your nook box, you wanna bang it off into your new hive to make sure she's not in the nook box. At this point, we're just gonna uh, feed the hive. So you wanna make sure that the hive is fed. So whatever feeder you have, Fill it up with food. These bees need a lot of food to grow. And then we're simply gonna put on our lid. We're gonna let them sit for three or four days. And then you can come back and do another inspection and really dig in a little bit deeper and make sure you identify brood. Um, make sure that uh, you see larva and brood. You can look for eggs, but it's very difficult to see eggs, even for experienced beekeepers. So your goal should really be to identify some larva and some capped brood inside that hive. Make sure if you haven't already, take a beginning beekeeping glass class to make sure you know what capped brood and larva look like, because they can look a lot like capped honey if you're not familiar with beekeeping. One quick way to identify whether it's capped brood or capped honey in the hive is just use your hive tool and gently uncap some of the cappings. If it's pure liquid underneath, it's honey. If you see a larva or a pupa underneath, a white pupa, that's brood. Brood is usually gonna be in the center of the frames, in the center of the brood box. Honey is usually gonna be on the outside edge of the frame and the outside frames in the hive. So just use your hive tool to uncap and make sure everything's okay. If you have any questions, any problems, feel free to reach out. We're here for you from the start to the finish of your beekeeping journey. And so you can always call us, text us, email us, send us some pictures of your hive, and we'd be more than happy to help out with any questions you have. Happy beekeeping, and we look forward to seeing you next time.